This is a great question and we get this all of the time. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to find out why your thyroid isn't working. So ask yourself this question, did your doctor tell you why your thyroid wasn't working or did they just give you thyroid medication? This is crucial because the root cause of why your thyroid isn't working is really going to determine what we do treatment wise or intervention wise with you. So there are six basic patterns that cause your thyroid to malfunction. Most of our patients have about three out of the six. Now we can pretty much determine that you have a really high statistical chance that you have Hashimoto's disease if you're having fatigue, tired, weight gain, all the thyroid symptoms, right? But that's only one part. And if you're just focusing on that one part, you're gonna miss the big picture. You're gonna help somebody. You'll feel a little bit better, but you're not gonna get your life back typically by just handling that because you need to handle all of the underlying issues. Now to find out what the underlying cause is, is you need to run testing. And I'm gonna say the right testing, just running tests aren't gonna get you anywhere. So first off, you need a full thyroid panel. That is like basic. And this is gonna be 10 to 11 markers. If you're only pulling like a TSH and a T4, good luck to you. You're never gonna find out what is wrong. Uh, you're only gonna find out if you need thyroid hormone replacement. Thyroid hormone replacement is important with some of the patients because if you have Hashimoto's for a long period of time, uh, you're gonna have enough damage that unfortunately uh, your cells just can't produce enough thyroid hormone. But again, you can take thyroid hormone and if you still have symptoms, then there's still something wrong and you need to figure that out. Now you really need a full comprehensive blood test. Uh, many times you might need a saliva testing for cortisol hormone. You might need some GI testing because of SIBO or uh, some type of gut infections or maybe a stool sample. It all depends on, on what's going on with you clinically. Everyone is different. And that's why I can't sit here and tell you exactly what it is that we're gonna to need to do with you because everyone is different. Everyone has a different makeup and we don't do a cookie cutter approach. We treat people individually. You see, we've been doing this for 20 years, helping people get their life back. And it is possible for you to get your life back. So if you're sitting there suffering, wishing that you were feeling better, that you had your life back, my suggestion is schedule a discovery call with us. It's for free. We can sit down, we can talk to you, see what a good strategy going forward is for you so you can enjoy the years you have left.